Hey guys, Connor here. Uh, hope you all are all doing well today. Um, I got a fun little short lesson for you guys today, but um, I think it's something very important to know and can add a lot to your 3D projects, uh, especially the stuff you're putting on the web. Um, it can be great for client projects and just adding an extra dimension a fourth dimension, you could say, I guess, um, to your designs. And what I'm speaking about is sound, sound effects. So I'm going to teach you guys how to add sound effects to your projects. So check this out. We got a little bubble here and a little glass isodecahedron. Still learning how to say that. Never will learn. But here we go. Ready? Pop. And ready? So we got a little pop popping bubble sound and a little, uh, you know, almost a breaking glass sound. Pop. Okay. So um, let's learn how to do this. So we're going to add a new object. Um, can, can be anything at all. Um, you know what would be fun for this? We'll do a helix. Okay. So... Click, it, click on Helix, Shift to make it, um, you know, equal size as you drag it out. Uh, let's see, what do I like to do to the Helix? Add a little spin, um, make it a little thicker, all that fun stuff. Um, we'll add some color to it, make it, uh, I don't know, yellow. How's that sound? Add some lighting effects. Some kind of texture going on there. I don't know what that is. But anyway, so here we got our helix. Um, what we're going to do is add a base, a state, um, and a base state. So what we're going to do is have it rotate. Um, and we'll do that. Um, with the mouse down transition that'll go from base state to state. We'll make it spring. That adds a little bounce, bouncy effect to it. Um, and then we'll also make the um, second state a little smaller just for fun. All right. So to add a sound effect, you're going to add another event hit mouse down and click sound and go down and spline has a bunch of sound files ready for you but you can um you can uh upload your own sound files if you want so we're going to find a good one that's sounds good for the spring okay i found this uh fun little xylophone effect it's the bottom one in case you want to use it you can turn up the volume so some effects are louder than others and um, just make sure it happens when you click that mouse down button. And uh, that's pretty much it. So um, now you got your helix that's going to spin and make a sound effect. Ready? Pop the bubble. Break the glass. And hopefully... Little xylophone sound effect. Um, I hope you guys uh, learned a little something from that. Obviously, there's plenty of ways to apply this um, to all sorts of different um, projects, video games you might make, scenes, yada, yada. Um, what I try to do with these lessons is just show you super simple ways to utilize the tools in this software. And then you guys can take it from there and hopefully make much more complex uh, projects happen and combine all the things that you've learned uh, to make, you know, way cooler stuff than, than what you're seeing in these basic lessons. Let's try this one more time. Pop. Smash. There you go. All right. Thanks so much, guys. Please uh, like and subscribe if you haven't done that already. Um, comment on the videos and support me if you can. Um, I'll be back for video number 20 very soon. See you.